In this video, I'm going to talk about the most useless module in Darktable. I don't know what the devs were thinking, but it's the enlarged canvas one. You can search it up here in the search bar, enlarged canvas. Now, if you increase the percentage left, hey, and it bugs, you see? Sometimes this is what happens when I use Darktable. Now you guys can actually see what has happened. So we've got a bug. I hope the devs will fix this, but let's reopen Darktable again. All right, so we're back in dark table. So I'm going to increase the percentage left, the percentage right. It should be green, but this looks white on my screen. And I'm checking OBS and it's white there as well. So it's not my monitor. I'm changing it to black. Okay, so this looks better. Now, the thing about this, right, is that this will allow you to add in stuff with the liquefier or the retouch module. But like I said, Darktable isn't a GIMP or it's not some Affinity Photo or a Photoshop or Topaz AI or Luminar or any AI program that I've worked with and that I would recommend to you over Darktable when it comes to this stuff, right? So if you go to the retouch module and you activate it and we're going to create a path. So this is just for demonstration purposes only right so by using this we can now see that we can extend the image right and maybe i can bring it up even more but whatever you do to this image it won't look good in dark time now this is very exaggerated you can do a much better job you can then use the clone or the heel one and then work around the edges to make it blend in some more. But Darktable isn't meant for this stuff. So like I said, I would recommend an AI program first and then either go to GIMP or Photoshop and use things like content aware fill that will increase this image if needed.